The second dev diary for Elite Dangerous Odyssey just dropped. Flippin' egg. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up button that stuff really helps. When the first developer diary dropped just over a month ago now whilst we were treated to some early visuals from the expansion of stuff we'd not seen before overall the diary left us here feeling somewhat wanting. The planetary tech on show was undoubtedly impressive but the diary didn't really show a huge amount of anything else and with the ability to get out of our ships being the headline feature of the expansion we really did feel that we needed to see more of what we can expect there when the expansion drops early next year. At the end of the online dissecting that the diary got last time I personally expressed the feeling that I'd wanted Frontier and Odyssey to have a big benchmark splash moment and to show something that the community could get excited about and really get behind and that Dev Diary 1, for me at least, just wasn't it. Dev Diary 2, entitled Choice, utterly blows away Dev Diary 1 and now, at last, Odyssey has its benchmark big splash moment. What we just witnessed was nothing short of amazing. It's very clear from the opening moments of the video that Frontier also wanted a mic drop moment. As the video starts we see the familiar surroundings of an asteroidal starport with ships moving back and forth but this time we're seeing it from inside one of the buildings in the starport itself and not from inside our ships. There are other pilots and characters standing and sitting around us in what appears to be a bar or lounge and the busy station interior is visible on the other side of the huge gallery style windows. The impact is immediate and the message is clear and unambiguous. Your pilot is leaving your ship, you're going out on foot, this is Odyssey. I love it that they opened with this massive kick in the pants moment. One month on I can't even remember what the opening shot of Dev Diary 1 was. The opening of Dev Diary 2 I don't think I'll ever forget. The diary then goes on to explain that we'll be exploring the world of Elite Dangerous from the new perspective of on foot and that freedom of choice within the game when you're on foot as with the core of the Starship gameplay is absolutely key to Odyssey and that all of the careers in Elite currently have been transposed into the on foot gameplay for players to enjoy. Game director Piers Jackson then goes on to explain that you'll be picking your base spacesuit in Elite in much the same way that you choose a starship with each base version of the suit having different strengths and weaknesses in different career and activity specific areas. The team then mentioned different suits that skew towards activities like exploration, combat and scavenging inside wrecks. The work in progress combat suit build that is then flashed up on screen honestly looks like some sort of futuristic shock trooper that absolutely wouldn't look out of place in a property like Star Wars. It even has a somewhat Darth Vader vibe to it. The team then go on to talk about making money from on foot gameplay and it's mentioned that we'll be able to access mission boards from inside starports but also talk to NPC mission givers. They further mention the ability to not only disembark from our ships at stations and planetary starports etc but also to visit the new surface installations they're calling settlements. Settlements are described as more like small dust bowl wild west towns on the edge of civilization. These settlements will offer different opportunities and perhaps will be a place to find more nefarious activities to engage in. NPCs that populate and move through the various environments coming to Odyssey are generated as part of the background simulation and so will be affiliated with the faction that owns the settlement. Then one of the more fascinating revelations of the diary, a new organisation and service to the game called Apex Interstellar. Apex Interstellar allows players to book transport to and from ports kind of like a travel agency allowing access to gameplay away from the port itself and without the need for a ship. The implication at least here is that players might be able to play certainly large portions of the game without needing a starship. Existing dare I say it as a star citizen rather than an independent pilot. 
In fact the dev diary is rounded off by reiterating that Elite is all about player agency, choice and playing the game the way you want to play it. Throughout the video as the team talk we are shown various mixed imagery of concept art and in engine rendering. The in engine footage is still very much of an in development quality some of the lighting and texturing most notably on characters skin isn't quite right yet but that's only to be expected and this will undoubtedly improve as we get closer to release. The design work on the new in station areas and planetary settlements is for my money absolutely spot on. It feels very very elite and is in line with the design ethos we've seen from the game over the last few years and it looks like it'll just slot right into the world of Elite without jarring. Elite has always taken some clear cues from popular sci-fi culture even since its earliest iteration back in the 80s. Elite Dangerous has very much continued that trend and there are definitely some strong influences in what we are now seeing from Odyssey. I've already mentioned the somewhat Star Wars vibe to the combat themed spacesuit. There was also some concept art that showed a uniformed officer right off the deck of an imperial star destroyer from the Empire Strikes Back and I definitely got a firefly vibe from some of the artwork in the starports and settlements which I really appreciated. Overall the engine footage stops short of being actual gameplay that clearly not yet being ready for public scrutiny which is absolutely understandable. It did for us however give a much much clearer picture of what Frontier intends for Odyssey's on foot gameplay and where we might be headed on foot early next year. Without a shadow of a doubt this dev diary left us way more informed about the direction Odyssey is taking, the visuals were genuinely striking and it took us a full 3 watch throughs before we even started listening to what was actually being said. We're really excited to see more and learn more about Odyssey and it looks like these dev diaries are coming on a monthly basis at the end of each month. I wonder what October will bring. So how are you feeling about Odyssey now that we've seen some station interiors and ground settlements? Has this dev diary changed your opinion in any regard? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 Commanders follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.